In this video we are going to see how to set up the Eshin H8 Mini Drone and the H8S 3D in OpenTX. We do it on the Radio Master TX16S. We start by creating a new aircraft model in the radio. Next, we bind the radio to the drone. The standard Biang protocol is used for the H8 Mini. For the H8S 3D model, we must use the Biang H8S 3D protocol. Now we create three flight modes to control the authority of the sticks over the behavior of the drone. We start by assigning the first three flight modes of the transmitter to the first three buttons of the six position switch. Next, we create two global variables, the number one which jointly control the pitch and roll of the drone, and number two, which control the turn or yaw of the drone. In the global variables menu, we set the specific values of both variables in each of the three flight modes. For global variable number one, we have set 30% for the first flight mode, 60% for the second, and 100% for the third thus creating a smooth flight mode, an intermediate level, and one aggressive flight mode. In the inputs menu, we assign global variable number 1 to the aileron and elevator, which control the roll and pitch of the drone. We also assign global variable number 2 to the rudder, which controls the yaw of the drone. Channel 3, which controls the throttle, should not operate with any global variable. In the Mixes menu, we assign a negative weight of 100% to the rudder channel, since the drone yaw in the opposite direction to that expected. Now we create two special functions. One is associated with the intermediate position of switch A, which will send the signal to channel 9 to operate in headless mode. Another special function is associated with the intermediate position of switch B, which will send the signal to channel 10 to operate in the return to home mode. We have not been able to set up the radio for the drone to do flips. In any case, in the following image we show the channels that control the special functions of both models of this drone. Now, we check the right behavior of the drone in the headless mode. And that is all. Thanks.